more wine caps. These are the mushrooms I harvested seconds ago. As you can see, they still have the mycelium and the soil on them. There's still some buried in there and coming up. As you can see, that one has been munched on. The other one is more around, around there. See? I left some. But the, this is the harvest this morning <laughs> and we've been picking not as much but like bowls every morning like a bowl of soup that you would have for example that kind of size so and this morning yeah this is this is it <laughs> looks amazing doesn't it For sure, the best investment we made this year. Some of them, well, lots of them are munched on by slugs, but we can clean those areas and they're perfectly edible. It's wine cap mushrooms. Beautiful. Grown in southwest Scotland in an area which was a lawn and which we are currently erasing in a way to say, but I would rather say we are building the soil and growing food instead of just grass. Okay, I'm gonna clean these, put the mycelium bits back into the soil, probably in those areas where I just put wood chips on the other day, so they can spread all over this area. This hasn't come. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And this is the mushrooms cleaned, left the bits here, I'm gonna spread them in the garden. But yeah, this is how many mushrooms I've cleaned. I'm not sure how much they weight, but I will check. Pretty good harvest. <laughs> You can see the stems are white inside. So yeah, grow food, not alone. I've covered the areas after I put the mycelium in, spread some around there. I mean, this bed is fully inoculated, I don't really need to do this, but I have to put them somewhere.
Oh, I left some. I thought I cleaned them all, but yeah, there's still some left here. <laughs> I'll clean these as well. <laughs> 